What up, players? It's Wolbots to help in this mode. Today we're gonna finish our pistolier. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to paint. We're gonna give him a little bit of. Where is it? Leviathan purple wash under the eyeballs. I believe we did the same thing with our Empire troops. This is gonna give them a bruised, tired, kind of different color shade to his face, which is gonna be good. We're also gonna take some Baal Red. Water that down a lot. And paint that into onto his nose and his cheekbones. Too much water. This is gonna give our rider a flushed Do this with my dwarves too, but that's because they're drunk all the time. But these guys, it's because they've been riding hard on their little horsies. Okay. Now we are going to paint the. Oh, don't the slashes on the sleeve look just like really cool? We're going to take some. It's not green and paint that onto the feather. Put most of it on our wet palette. Always hold it from like a reverse angle like this so that I can get a um, good effect just by pulling off to the side like this rather than slapping paint over the whole feather. the tips a little bit better this way I feel. <clears throat> okay, and then we're going to take some Fortress Grey, which is our white mid-tone, and we're going to paint that onto the white feather. So when you paint from the outside going in, it allows you to keep the shadows on the inner parts rather than spreading them out. There you go. The final thing we're gonna do with the white feather is use Space Wolves Gray. Which is really the lightest not white color there is in the old range, anyway. And with this we're really just frosting the tips. Want to keep that Codex Gray and I mean Fortress Gray and the uh, Bad at Black showing. Okay. We can also, now that the pistol is dry, do a little bit of a wash. Griffin Sepia. Oh boy, where is it? 
I have so much ogre and flesh washes. Igor, you small stool. Would you be a deer and find me my griffin sepia? Here you are, monster. I'm just gonna wash the um, all of the bleached bone areas. I'm gonna tone it down a little bit. And there you have it. You don't even really need to paint the eyes just because they're so small and then the bags under the eyes are so prominent. If you try to, it's going to be a lot of trouble and it might not be worth it to you. So here is your finished, your completed Averlinder Pistolier. I hope you enjoyed it. I really love these models and um, I hope they'll be usable and feasible um, in, in Empire Army lists. I hope. The, the new army book, um, you know, is, a, is able to utilize them so that Empire Generals old and new can use them because the designs are really cool. I kind of like the opposite slashing effect. Black and yellow are really great contrast colors and I think when you do them on a model like the Pistolier which is just so full of really great detail then um, it's, it's worth the effort. It looks really good in the end. So thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.